This is Dan Hussey from Elliott Wave Forecast. I'm the host of the live trading room webinar where we take a look at the Elliott Wave um, structures and analysis uh, given to you by our, our fine website and we actually develop a live trading plan in real time for um, our customers so, and clients. So um, with that being said, we've been tracking the dollar yen and in general the yen weakness which would be translated into um, yen crosses strength um, over the last two years and we've been quite bullish on um, in all regards to all of them but uh, primarily the dollar yen right now is where a lot of the focus is and how that is driving US dollar price action in general and it's becoming a function now of not just uh, the currency market we've got and, and we always know there's a tight correlation between the S&P's the US 10-year bond market as well as you know the currencies and um, before we go over some of the levels in the dollar yen, I wanted to point out that we have had over the last uh, two months a, an extreme divergence between where the 10-year rate was, which in this case, this is an upside down 10-year. Uh, so this is the actual 10-year rate now uh, that you're looking at. So that, that is the ZN, which is the 10-year futures, is actually inverted to the rate. So as the ZN goes lower uh, you expect that that means that, uh, that is a higher you actual rate for the for the note uh, you have in blue the S&P 500 and of course the colorful um, uh, bars or candles here the multicolored candles um, are the dollar yen and you can clearly see that the dollar yen is leading the way for the three uh, the S&P is in a close second you can see how it's uh, the dollar yen has made it through intraday highs the the S&P is at intraday highs and the tenure is actually quite below um, it's it's in this case it would be quite above its its intraday low, but in this case its U.S. rates are not you know not quite to their to their uh, intraday or um, monthly highs. So we are expecting U.S. rates to potentially catch up with the with with the basket here and and be maybe a little bit slower because of course you know rates while they can rally in the notes they can't change too much from what you know the the prime rate is uh, set by the Federal Reserve. So. Uh, with that being said, we have a you know a U.S. dollar currency that's actually pricing in the rate hike before it happens, and it's this is much the same that you know trend that we've seen play out over the last few years, and of course we're seeing rates rally alongside uh, U.S. equity rallies, and that's something that a lot of people don't believe can happen. But look at this chart; it's happening right now, it's happening today, it's happening in real time, and it's been happening for the last two year a uh, year now. So. Um, for those that are still not believing in this type of trend, it's staring at you in the face, uh, and don't try to fight this stuff because this is these are major, major historical um, levels uh, occurring in, in all of these markets. How does that affect us as a trader? Well, it's all fun to talk about the fundamentals and correlations, but you can't really trade it, right? So some of the levels we've been looking at in the dollar yen, uh, there's this 115.60 anchor to the 118. Excuse me, 98 high here. It was a 117.30 buy uh, that we talked about in the room and that we put out as uh, our trade, uh, the, the the most recent trade setup. Uh, stops would have been below the 116.90s. You would have taken half off at a first target, the 117.70s. Okay, and we were just hitting and talking about how we've hit targets today uh, in the setup. Well, the next setup for the four-hour uh, trend here for the dollar yen is going to just be same anchor, new high. Um, we're not going to worry too much about the count in this video uh, but to tell you that the next inflection zone on a pullback would be in a, a pullback here towards the 117.75 so we do urge all of our clients to be cautious with the yen crosses be cautious with this current trend in the US dollar um, not that it can't continue or it won't continue particularly after a pullback but a pullback is uh, you know we're kind of in overtime for this game and we are looking for a pullback to ensue sometime soon and in this case it can be an, a near 200 pit pullback uh, in the dollar yen uh, that can begin at any moment uh, and without much warning so we have come up on that major 120 figure um, you know don't sell this market please you know not without confirmation of reversals etc etc don't pick tops because this market can't continue to squeeze higher um, and believe me in, in a big way too because there really isn't anything in terms of resistance again now until we get up into the 140 to 150 area uh, there's no resistance what I mean when I say that is that there are 
resting limit orders from people who are initiating shorts, institutional shorts, not retail shorts. The big players don't have any levels above us until quite a ways where they would initiate a short position where they would actually look for the market to turn over and head to new all-time lows. That's what I mean. Yes, there's going to be profit taking that ensues off highs, but any profit taking that begins, we consider nothing more than a correction to the otherwise very prevailing uh, daily trend um, and reversal that we've had in the dollar yen. When you step back and you look at this market and you look at this daily chart, this is not something you want to start fading. This market is turning parabolic. Yes, it can go into sideways to large corrections, and we will get those um, eventually here. And when we do, we will be ready for them. But please, 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 uh, you know, be aware. We're still bullish in the long term. We're still bullish in the medium term, and we're still bullish in the short term until we get technical failure of 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 our immediate four-hour trend. So. While we're hitting targets and we can start looking for those pullbacks, which is where we are now, we just want to express caution to all those looking to be buyers in the dollar yen. Wait for the market to come to you. Don't chase it here because we all know how nasty the pullbacks and quick the pullbacks can be at that. You know, we can do a 200 pip pullback in a couple hours, uh, in even minutes even. So, uh, no reason to be sellers. We're trend traders looking to be a buyer in the three ways back and the three, seven, and 11 pullbacks. And of course, back into this 11775 which is where it measures right now for more trade updates and to continue tracking this dollar yen position with us uh, tune into the live trading room every day from uh, 11:30 a.m. central to 12:30 uh, p.m. central that's 1:30 p.m. eastern uh, to I'm sorry 12:30 p.m. eastern to 1:30 p.m. Um, every day. Uh, with that being said, um, again, I'm Dan Hussey, host of the Live Trading Room with ElliotWaveForecast.com. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll be back with you as price action develops. Take care, guys.